Hey guys, how's it going? It's Torment here. Welcome back to Chasing Rank 1 and Soul Standard episode 18. So in the last episode, we kind of threw for skins, lost both of our games around like 30 points or so. I think I was at like number five at the time, which was about 30 points higher than this or so. So that's a pretty big loss. Definitely hurt our progress, but it doesn't mean it's over. Still number 12. It's pretty close to the number one spot. And speaking of the number one spot, in the last episode, I had the number one spot on my main account at 1441, but recently Pondex has passed me eight points higher now. So it's going to be even harder to get to that number one spot. Eight points could be an extra game which at this level losing a game will hurt a lot and gaining won't be as easy so that's a pretty big difference and that's notable as well so let's just get right into game one all right so into game one i don't recognize anybody in this lobby besides dapper who you might recognize him he's on selfless they're an rlcs pro team so pretty good player um we'll see how he stacks up against a uh, us with you know four other people i've never heard of in this lobby so it's going to be a, a battle of like you know adjusting to your teammates and who has like teammates that are more well-rounded and like, e probably easier to play with in general. So we'll see how it goes. So right there, hit a cross. I wait to see if Dapper has the hit and then I go for it. And if he had the hit, I was just going to go back. I ended up getting a pretty poor hit and it didn't really result in anything. So happens though. And speaking of uh, poor hits, you know, didn't even get a hit on that one. Luckily, there was nobody there on the other team and I was able to uh, get saved by my teammate, I guess. So right there, I decided to go for the challenge since my teammate didn't get the touch. And I get the challenge, and it resulted in something better than what would have happened probably if um, I didn't go and Dapper got the hit. So that ended up being all right. Um, I got demoed, though, but it allowed me to recover. And teammate hits a nutty nutty hit into the corner of our own, of our own side. That's kind of weird, but whatever. I ended up trying to take it out and get stopped in the dribble. And probably should have tried to do something more effective than like a, like a carry there, especially in threes. And right there, just kind of hit the ball to, just to hit it. I tend, I tend to do that too much, I think. And it kind of just gives the ball away, like there. Obviously, you saw he was able to get possession and, you know, make a play for his team. Which, we don't want that. You don't want as, you want as least amount of, uh, the least amount of possession for the team as possible. And, like, allowing them to make plays is how you, you get scored on, so... And I just want to go back here. I'm not sure if he's actually able to get the challenge. My team actually does get the challenge, but I didn't want to put 100% faith in that. It looked a little looked a little sketchy at first because the way he went at it, but he ended up getting a block, so that was good. And this seems to be an open clear, but my teammate actually kind of does an infield cut. He just kind of decides instead of rotating back, which, it, which, which is what he made it look like he was going to do, he ends up turning in front of me. And I don't know what happened, but he ended up hitting... A, boomer and i think i actually bumped him into it i'm not really sure but he gets the follow-up so that was a good solo play even though he did cut me off um i honestly probably wouldn't have gotten a solo play like that off of that so that's fine i guess and unfortunately right after that dapper gets a follow-up and is able to actually secure a goal for his team so we end up just getting tied up again off a kickoff that was a good shot from him you know the double jump kind of gets you more power you kind of accelerate your car at the last second with the second jump and it just gets a really fast shot. So that was a good shot from him to get that. So here it looks like I can beat him. He's The guy's actually shadowing me on the wall, which ends up missing after that. So Because it hit a weird ceiling bounce. And I was able to get a hit out. And I rushed it really hard to try to beat the first guy. But they had two guys. So they were able to actually just stack a defense. And I couldn't really get by. I was by myself after all. So that's a good hit down from them. It, I mean, if you saw that, it did... It did go straight through my car. Um, you won't see it in the replay. I mean, actually, you can't really tell. It didn't really show me for most of the replay, but it went straight through my car in the challenge. It's, it is like a hundred and like sixteen or hundred twenty ping server, but I'm not really making an excuse. I did agree to play on a West server after all, just to get faster games. But it's just that's just kind of stuff you have to deal with when you get servers like this. And right there, they make another good play. Dapper's able to put that shot in. So in the last like. 40 seconds they've gotten three of their goals so we were doing well at first rotating and stuff and you know playing defense in general but it's kind of gone downhill since then gave them a lot of um we gave them a lot of goals obviously we got we gave them three goals I'm not, i wouldn't necessarily say easy goals but they were goals that um we definitely could have stopped but what are you gonna do we just had didn't have the best rotation it is soul standard after all so can't really blame teammates for not knowing where to be 100 percent of the time and you know, can't really blame yourself all the time not being in the right places. It's really hard. It's definitely really hard to stay in the right places all the time in Solo Standard with random teammates all the time. So, yeah, 
probably shouldn't leave my teammates back in a spot like this. Uh, they were actually able to get it out anyways because I didn't. The pressure on them wasn't really too big, and going for a challenge like that is just asking to get beat. You're like challenge. You're trying to like scoop under the ball while someone else is trying to go over it. And here you're gonna see the greatest ball chase triple ch quadruple challenge of my life. Uh, I don't think you've ever seen one better than that. And then the the, the miss boost grab to uh, secure it all. Right there, I don't know what I was doing. I think I was just trying to keep pressure as best as possible. You know, down two goals. I was literally just trying to, you know, get anything I could. Just try to be a tank, I guess. And it didn't really work out. Don't really expect it to. After a couple, you've run out of boost. And right there, as you can t probably tell, I was trying to, you know, pop it down for myself after I went for a, an aerial that wasn't really needed to be aerialed. And I tried to, like, pop it down and catch it and go for a dribble, you know, to keep control. But... I did the opposite of that, and I just kind of wobbled and flopped all over the place, and I ended up giving the ball away, pretty much. Kind of got a terrible 50-50, but what are you going to do? And again, I try to do it there, and I give the ball away. I'm trying to like keep possession, because I noticed we're giving the ball away a lot, or definitely I am. So I'm trying to like hit the ball soft for me to follow it up, and it's not really working out. I'm just kind of, you know, not really recovering, and that just kind of gives the ball away anyways, and it just gives me a worse hit in general. And since I don't recover, I'm not able to follow it up. So I tried to like shadow him on the wall, but he just, obviously he can hit that around me. Pretty simple to see, and he ends up beating me. So kind of unfortunate game in general. Well, not unfortunate. They, I think they just outplayed us and for the most part. We didn't really rotate as well as they did. They kept more pressure than us, and they, you know, they, they scored the goals they needed to. So, and that's all I gotta say. So, just good game to them. So after that, fortunately, we moved down only one place on the leaderboard. It happens to be a lot of points. So it's like 16 points or so. I don't remember exactly what I started at, but yeah, I only switched places with Fruit Salad. No idea who Fruit Salad is, but he's gotta be somebody good. If you're number 12 on Solo Standard, you gotta be doing something right. But yeah, switch place with Fruit Salad. So in this next game, we're gonna be looking to win it to at least stay even in the episode and you know take that number 12 spot back we might be a couple points lower than we were because that's just how it works but in general we'll be you know around the spot we started with all right so into game two i'd be lying if i said i recognized any of the names in this lobby because i don't but i'm assuming they're probably around like the low champ rank they sh should be decent players so shouldn't really affect anything just probably people i haven't ran into so straight off the bat, I'm all the way back, and I see my teammates are in a decent position to make like some kind of play on offense, but the other team shuts it down. Right there, I tried to like I wanted to like tap it down and like to the side, but it turns out that um, he ended up pinching it with me, which I didn't really see it at the at the start when I went for that, but it ended up being all right. I, like pinched really hard. Got another 120 pink server. This game really loves me, by the way. But that's all. That's all good though. And I see my teammates going for that. I was going to go for a challenge, but he actually ends up getting a decent 50-50, so not bad. I actually almost hit that angle, surprisingly. I honestly did not think I was going to get that when I went for it, but it looked it looked all right at first. Like, when I first shot that, I was like, that could be in, but it ended up hitting the crossbar, so unfortunate. And here I have a time to take a slow dribble, and, you know, being the, uh, the smart player I am, I go for a fake, and I get absolutely destroyed, so... Didn't really turn out well. And right there, I want to make sure I don't go for too aggressive of a challenge and throw myself out of the play. For something that I know I'm going to definitely get beat to, but we ended up being all right. And I ended up getting a decent shot there. So my teammate got a good pass off the corner. Um, I hope he doesn't skip the replay. And he does. Happens every time. I always skip replays out of instinct, but he hits it off the corner. I kind of for a second delayed it to make sure I got a good shot around it and I ended up just putting it in the open part of the net, which there were a lot of open parts of that net, so... No excuse in missing that. They want to challenge early because I know someone's going to be aggressing on the wall. And they end up getting a second challenge just the way my, my momentum kind of shifted me. And i um, actually there for a third hit as well. Even though I had no boost, I was able to get a uh, you know, really weak touch. But it was a touch and my teammate was able to follow it. So it ended up being alright. And my teammate, you know, just being a denier on the wall there. Just like shut the guy down. But gave them the ball. And fortunately, they end up missing. So there we go. There, there's our free goal of the day. Um, I just kind of get a hit. He misreads that bounce. It hit like the funky corner and just bounced like on a diagonal. And not a lot of people expect those if they go for you know like a like a prediction read. Which honestly, last back you shouldn't be trying to make a prediction read unless it's like you know backboard and like your teammate's gonna get back like immediately. But 
Um, yeah, you shouldn't go for stuff like that when you ask back. That's that's how you get punished. But right after that, we get scored on. The other team makes a play. I wasn't back. I had just overcommitted for a ball. And so did my teammate, I think. So we left one guy back. That's where you make the mistake in Soul Sand and Soul Q in general, actually. You don't leave your, uh, anybody last man back because you, you shouldn't put 100% faith in them. But we get a goal off of it. This is pretty sloppy defense from the other team. Honestly, that's pretty much what you can credit for. Again, I don't know if that's the same guy as last time, but he ends up going for a pre-read on an, another funky corner bounce and ends up, he ends up getting destroyed. So, you know, if this episode has taught you anything, don't go for those because you'll end up like that guy. Or if there was two different guys, I don't remember who did the first one, you end up like those guys. So don't do those unless you're extremely confident in them. But if they're going to hit off a corner, then definitely don't do them. If they're going to hit off a normal bounce and you're confident, then go for it. But, you know, take the risk if you want to. And my teammate's nutty. So this game's going pretty well. We're definitely doing a lot better than our last team. I go for that turn on the wall and I try to purposely get it to that left side. I knew he was over there in the corner. I saw him. And he saw the back of the net. That was a pretty good shot from him. Pretty good redirect from him. And yeah, we're just in complete control of this game. We've also had some help from a couple, you know, a couple of open misses to lead to open nets for our team. But either way, we've had the control in general. The other teams just look sloppy for the most part. That was definitely shootable. But I, I missed, so what are you going to do? Can't every shot. But we're, we've been rotating pretty well. Definitely a lot better than, you know, the last team we had. Which can't, not necessarily credit to the specific players. It could be more credit just the specific play styles. Not like saying the last team was a bad team. Just saying like it didn't really work out. And the other team worked out better. So yeah, I'm trying to tap it up for my teammate. He's able to get the follow. Um, actually, close to a pass play. But obviously we weren't doing it, you know, fast enough to take anybody out of the game really. Or to really mess anybody up. It was a pretty slow passing play. Kind of just a controlled passing play. At least it buys time. You know, keeps our pressure. We keep. It's better than just hitting the ball hard. And just one time to the other team. Than to get like some soft touches to your teammates. It buys more time. Especially when we're up three goals. You know, time is completely in our favor. And not in their favor at all. So they're, they're rushing to get things done. The lower the time goes. The more they're going to panic. And the more they're going to want to get a uh, you know, goal really quickly. So helps for us. Just need to, you know, waste the time. And, you know, I, I had the reaction time of a turtle right there, honestly. Um, I'd honest, I honestly, I like saying honestly, don't I? Every episode I have a word that I keep repeating. But we don't worry about that. Um, yeah, I think I was just like, I was on a too bad of a position. Like, I wasn't in the inside the goal. I was outside the goal line. So that's kind of where I got, um, why I got punished there. He just, you know, tried to cross it and I was just chilling there. What are you going to do? Just got to position better next time, I guess. But luckily, we're still up two goals with like less than a minute left. So that's always a really good spot to be in. As long as we play solid D and the other team, you know, doesn't make any crazy plays, we're fine. So we've been doing that most of the game. That's how most of the games went. And I don't see anything changing in the next uh, 20 seconds. So right here, I want to go for an aggressive challenge because I know he's far back. And yes, I do. I get it. And I got a second hit and a pass, actually. But... Um, he was not expecting that, but either way, like I've been repeating for the past, like, minute and a half or so, you know, time's on our side, and there you see, we finish them, we put the ball on the ground, and it's over, so, there's a GG, we actually end up getting the redemption match, not really against anybody in the same, in the last lobby, it's actually a completely different lobby, which is kind of weird, usually it doesn't go like that, so not really a redemption, but we get the match back, we get the points back, and like I said, everybody was uh, chip one or two in this lobby, there are two champ twos and th uh, three champ ones, so. so we end up back at the 12th spot at 1383, it's a couple points lower than when we started at the beginning of this episode, but not really too big of a difference to really affect anything, um, at least for now, not really sure how that'll affect us later, but anyways, that's it for this episode. So guys, right before I sign off, I just want to ask, should I try live commentaries in the next episode or no? Because a lot of people say they want live commentaries instead of, because obviously you can probably tell I've already played these games like a couple days ago or sometimes just a couple hours. Today it's been a couple days ago and I'm, you know, watching it over and I'm analyzing and going into uh, detail more, I guess. So let me know what you guys think about this. If you want me to use live commentary or you like this way better. And that's it for this episode, guys. So appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.